Welcome back to John's Films. I got a trigger warning for you here if you do not like misinformation because I got a question on my channel that makes me believe somebody is sharing something crazy. Let's take a look at Word on Wheels Australia and their question. Their question to me is a multi-parter. We'll address it one by one. First, does DaVinci Resolve work on a laptop? Yes, yes it does. Oh, here you go. This is my laptop. I've reviewed it on this channel. It works great. I use it with both free or DaVinci Resolve Studio, and in both cases, it's a champ. Well, I heard it fails on rendering. Nope, haven't had the problem. Now, you may need to ask yourself, the person who told you this, are they using a laptop that meets the minimum requirements of DaVinci Resolve from Blackmagic Design? They state DaVinci Resolve requires 16 gigabytes of system memory and two gigabytes of video RAM. This is where I bet you're gonna get hung up. Now, is it a great experience if you have two gigabytes of video RAM, an integrated APU, that means a GPU processing, graphics processing unit attached to the CPU in the same silicon? Probably not. In fact, I don't think I would really wanna edit on that at all. Be pretty painful. However, <laughs> it would work. You just have to be a bit patient, maybe use proxies, use lower resolution monitoring windows, you would be fine. Oh, I heard it fails on render. Nope. Because of heat and rendering, I heard you have to use a tower. Nope. You can, and you get better airflow for sure. But laptops these days are made so that they will boost up the clock speed as they have thermal headroom, and they'll pull it back down if they don't. The next part I think might be a moment of confusion. It says, highly advised not to run DaVinci Resolve 17.4 on a desktop. We want to assume that meant laptop. Uh, and the reason that you were given, specifically, it will ruin and shorten life of laptop if running 17.4 due to heat and expelling of heat and the running of the processor mainly during the rendering process. Well, let's talk. On DaVinci Resolve Studio, if you have the hardware in your laptop, you can use the hardware accelerator that is found commonly in discrete graphics cards. That is a separate graphics card in your laptop. This is a dedicated circuit that is explicitly built for this task at hand in hardware, and it's highly efficient at it. So you don't do too much pain there with Studio. With the free version, the CPU does the encoding and the decoding. The graphics card still does work. The graphics card still does likely the color management. It also does any special GPU driven effects, and it works fine. Like I said, it'll clock up, it'll clock down to protect itself. As for shortening the life of the laptop, laptops are made to be used. They often are built as mobile gaming workstations, and they've got adequate cooling and adequate thermal protection to ensure that it doesn't degrade the quality of the chip. Over time, sure, after a good 10 years, the thermal paste, which was originally applied in the factory, may be a little creaky, may not be so great. However, I'm pretty confident that the thermal management inside the laptop would handle it. Wouldn't be that big a deal. You could always pull off the cooler and repaste, but I really wouldn't do that uh, until you're five, eight years into it. So big old no to your entire question. Uh, I appreciate that you brought it here because you're clearly getting bad advice, but um, I have to respectfully disagree with whoever told you that. If you really need a laptop, I'll put three links below at three different price points of laptops that I believe would be a good editing experience for 1080p monitored or even some 4K timelines in DaVinci Resolve. Hope that helps, I appreciate you watching. And if you get any more questions like that, or if you'd like to point your source to me, I'd be happy to have a conversation about that as well. Thanks for your time and hope you all have a great day.